So I wanted to uh, make a short video um, to run through the uh, in-class assignment for today called Be the Shell. Uh, this uh, little exercise demonstrates a few SQLite commands. Um, so not SQL commands, but SQLite commands. And uh, you can perform all of these inside an org mode file as well. But uh, uh, the terminal is actually more suitable in this case. Um, SQLite has a org mode extension, uh, so you can use a, um, a code block like this uh, with SQLite to mark it as an SQLite code block with a, a database um, that you use to write to, and you can put most of these um, uh, header arguments through as well. But uh, for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to work in the terminal, and you should be able to do both things. So first step is um, uh, start SQLite with the header on in column mode switched on from the command line. And uh, I have to start the command line to begin with, start the command prompt. I'm going to bring this over here on the right hand side. And um, I'm actually not in the directory I want to be in. I want to go to another directory, uh, GitHub. Uh, I actually have a uh, SQLite database already prepared, so I don't have to create the tables. Um, SQLite. Okay, so in this directory, there should be a uh, at least one database file. So there is a select and SQLite database, and they are not empty. And the first instruction is to look at SQLite 3 help. So invoke the SQLite 3 command. Um, that's an executable on my system. And um, if I uh, look at the minus help, which is a long option, I can see a bunch of different functions. Mm -hmm. All the different functions I can use on the left-hand side, all the options that I can use to start SQLite and already prepare it for um, whatever I want to do with the database. And the two things I'm asked to look at here is I want the header on, so I want to see the attributes of my tables and I want the column mode switched on. So all the tables are organized neatly in columns. And when I go through this list, I can see that I find here the option no header. No is for if I don't want a header, I leave this out. If I want a header, turn headers on or off, I want them on. So my first option is it's divide three minus header. And the second option, I find a little uh, above, which is column, set output mode to column. So I'm going to do this too, switch that on. And with that, I'm going to enter SQLite. Okay, so I'm in. Um, I could use help here as well if I wanted to and get a bunch of help commands. And first thing you notice and or remember is that any dot command in here is an SQLite command. It's a command to um, to uh, uh, um, communicate with the relationship database management system, not the database that I'm using. The SQL commands are commands used to uh, communicate with the database. At the moment, I don't really have a database here. I can check that with the database. That's the um, uh, question number two here. Check that you don't have a persistent database with database, so a database you're writing to. In fact, the answer is empty. So the main database used here is empty for read and write. So first thing I want to do is I want to open a database. Um, and I already have one that I've worked on that I put tables in. So I'm going to open this existing database. You remember that I looked up here that I have it here on the right on the, uh, in the right hand screen. So I know I have it. Um, if I would type any database, um, for example, I type open new.db, as a matter of fact, that would create a database. I can now check the databases and I see the changes. I'm writing to this new database. Now, what does that look like? I can actually use the shell command on Windows and some other PCs. It doesn't work on Mac OS to peek outside of my SQL. SQLite program without having to leave it. So dot shell looks at the shell above, which I use to enter SQLite, and I can use the Windows dir command. And um, I may even be able to use this. And yeah, it works. And you can see the database I just opened, which didn't exist before, now is here as well, zero, zero bytes. 
I can change databases all the time. So I want to go back to the one that contains my tables. I reopen database to sqlite.db. And this is what the exercise asked me to do here. So the next thing is um, check again that you're really writing to this database. And it's always the same command, dot database. And you see it's fine. Read and write. This is something I could also change. Um, I can change the read and write permissions of this file, sqlite.db. I don't actually think that's very easy to do on Windows. It's easy on Linux. And then uh, this attribute, read and write, this will change as well. But we're going to go on. Um, uh, instead of doing just typing database, you could also use the show command, which we're going to use in the next exercise bit. And we do this in order to find out if indeed the header is on and the mode is column, which is something we try to do, if you remember here, by entering the file with these options, uh, entering the application with these options. So we're now inside and we type show, which is all the display options. A bunch of different options. The ones that are relevant for us here are headers on and mode column. Those are the two things we are focused on right now. And indeed, they are. If you enter um, SQLite without these options, the standard is header off and column uh, and mode is list, I believe. And you can also see here uh, that the file name is sqlite.db. So uh, this is another way of, of verifying that this is the database you want to write to. Okay, let's get on. Um, it says here, you can also check with select that the header is on in the modus column. And this, of course, is by using the select command in order to actually print out a table. And uh, if the header is on in the modus column, you will actually be able to see that. So I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to make sure that there are tables. And in fact, there are two tables. I'm going to use the first table and I type select star, which means all columns from the table customer. Um, and I close this with a semicolon. So. Uh, you see the difference. This is an SQLite command, starts with a dot. Um, these are the commands that I can see with dot help. This is an SQL command, which is closed with a semicolon and must be. If I don't close it with a semicolon, I get into um, on the next line and this will go on until I close the command. It will just be executed. And there you are. You can see. This is the, uh, the header line that I get with the header on um, setting, which shows my two attributes, the ID and the name. And then below that, I have uh, one, two, three, four, five different rows. And one of these is a duplicate. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Um, now I wanted to switch the output. And uh, this is really the reason for this entire new exercise. Namely, if you look at the dot show, uh, command up here, you see that the output is currently set to standard out. Now the default on any computer system, any operating system is that standard out will be the display. That's the default and standard in is the input from the command line. So whenever you type something on the command line, you're actually piping the input through standard in. And uh, if you, if you uh, generate output, you're type typing it you're piping it to standard out, which are shorts for um, libraries that the computer uses in order to uh, create the visualization or pass the input. So we want to change this. And in order to change this, we want to put it into a file. So we're going to change the output to a file, sqlite.sql. Now, once this command is sent off, you will get to the next line. But any other command that you enter now will not appear on the screen anymore. It will go to sqlite.sql. Let's check that. And we just execute the show command. Nothing is showing. And the reason why nothing is showing is because this actually goes to the file sqlite.sql. Um, there's no easy way to show this from within sqlite. So let's just have a look at, uh, at this whole thing via Emacs. Um, we are here in SQLite. Um, here's the file we just generated. And you see that's the content. SQLite, we just generated this text by typing the dot show command. I'm going to actually uh, delete this. Um, so my 
file is pristine because what I want to do is I don't really want to um, have any other commands in here. What I want to do is I want to dump the database. I want to dump the content of the database, which is um, uh, sqlite.db, into this file in order to generate an SQL file that then I can port and that will be unpacked by SQLite 3 anywhere I like. So I can read it out and I can read it back in as text. Now the command is dot dump. When I put, when I type dot dump, still the output is SQLite.SQL. The contents of my database are going to be put into SQLite.SQL. So um, uh, now I need to switch the output back to, S to standard out. So I can uh, use this, uh, this command line again. Um, and going to check that with show. You can see the output is back because I can actually see it. And it's also shown here as STD out. And uh, now we can dump the database again to check that what we see is also what's in the file. Yeah, so I dump it. And here you see a bunch of different instructions. And these instructions can be used by SQLite, all of these together, in order to recreate the database exactly the way we had it. And so there's a bunch of, um, there's actually two tables. The first instruction set, this is just to start uh, Pragma and begin transaction is to initiate um, the database creation. Then we have the creation of one table and the content of the first table, which I printed out before with select. And then we have the creation of the second table and the inserting of the values in the second table. So um, uh, first of all, let's get out of SQLite and then check if the file actually contains that. So I'm going to go back to Emacs. And now I have to, um, you can see that the file has now content in it. And if I open it, it's changed. You see it here. And in fact, there is some disturbance. This is because I edited the file before. So um, that's actually, is, um, that is unfortunate, I have to say. And the reason is that I messed with the file before, if you remember. I edited, edited it. If you do the dump into a clean file, what you get is this. And this will actually be sufficient to, um, to recreate the, uh, the file. You see down here, uh, the file type is SQL and it's SQL ANSI, so it's actually standard SQL. Right, so that's all for now. And um, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we're going to go on learning more about SQLite and SQL.